Welcome back, everybody, to CNET Live at CES 2019. I'm Ashley Eskevin. I have my glasses finally. And joining me here on stage is Sophia the Robot. You may have seen her before. And her creator, David Hansen, PhD, CEO of Hansen Robotics, founder, all, all such things. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's so nice to have you here. Uh, it's so nice to have Sophia here as well. Uh, yeah, she's she's looking very well. Oh, huh, thank you. Yeah. The, the Las Vegas, uh, the the dry winter weather seems to agree with her. It's fabulous. Um, so okay, we've seen Sophia before a bunch of times. I've, I think I saw her on Jimmy Fallon. Uh, so what has changed with Sophia? What what do you bring into the show this year? Ah. Uh. Oh, many things have evolved with Sophia. So uh, we brought her back onto uh, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon uh, just about uh, a month and a half ago. And uh, we displayed her AI-trained singing voice, which uh, we're very proud of. We think of it as maybe one of the best in the world, but it's specifically in Sophia's voice. And so she's now able to sing, and uh, she has uh, new and improved hands and arms, which are capable of grasping and manipulation. And she's uh, now got a piano teacher, and she's been practicing piano every day like a good little piano student. And nice. um, uh, she can actually uh, deal cards. Uh, we uh, showed that she could deal a hand of uh, Baccarat very quickly. So it's really good for pick and place applications. The goal is that this is a complete um, platform for performing things. However, it's also cool to deal cards, but we have to keep her out of uh, the casinos here because say, she's... Don't she's let any <laughs> of the dealers downstairs know this. They might, uh, they might get upset. They yeah, might get upset. She's got a perfect memory. She could count the cards that kick her right out. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you could really, you could really clean up here. Really <laughs> clean up in Vegas. Clean up to take it after CES, take her downstairs. Uh, so what... What is the end game for Hanson Robotics? Like, what's what's the goal, the ultimate goal? Well, <clears throat> we're uh, looking to bring machines to life, literally. Uh, and so now, uh, Sophia and other robots are a simulation of life. It's bringing together character arts and character animation with uh, artificial intelligence and robotics and trying to put everything together as one platform, the full humanized robot platform. And the goal is to humanize an interface between people and AI, to humanize AI. Um, However, the end, the end game is to create a symbiosis between us and our machines. So we're not mechanizing people, but we're humanizing the machines. I see. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we'll ask Sophia a couple of questions, if you don't mind. I, I uh, Sophia, don't. can you tell us a little bit about some of your travels in the, in the past year or so? You have some highlights in 2018. I had an amazing 2018. Some highlights for me were traveling to Ethiopia to meet one of my development teams and working as an innovation ambassador for the UN, just to name a few. It's really creepy, but also really cool. It's like my favorite thing about robots. Uh, Sophia, can you tell us a little bit about any updates you've received in the last year? It's difficult to choose, but I loved being able to get around more. I have a brand new rolling bass and enhanced legs, and learned how to sing. Did you catch my duet with Jimmy Fallon? <laughs> Very nice. Um, so uh, one of the things that I want to ask you really quickly about is, I know that there has been some criticism within the robotics community about, uh, about AI and sort of kind of, uh, is it, it like, what, how do you guys feel about that, that criticism where people are, have said, well, it's not quite as far as Sophia makes it look. Um, and so people get really excited and they think AI, like real genuine human AI is right around the corner, but it's not quite, we're not quite there yet. Um, maybe from technological limitations amongst other things. Um, but how do you guys feel about that and how do you, um, how do you respond to that? Well, I, I think um, that uh, we're kind of at the beginning of uh, the age of, um, 
the cinematic application of artificial intelligence and robots where we can make the character seem to be alive. And it's very exciting. And people got confused about cinema, you know, thinking there was, a, there was a spirit behind the screen or people behind there. But people figured it out eventually. And that's what we need to do with robots. I mean, uh, robots like Sophia and um, uh, AI, including Sophia's AI, Alexa, Cortana, Siri, Watson, none of, the, none of these things are fully alive yet. But we, in the beginning, when AI was established, the goal was to make machines that would be capable, as capable as people, as smart as people, as creative as people. And I think it's exciting that machines are now starting to show in narrow ways capabilities that are that are very human-like and sometimes exceeding human-level capabilities. We should keep aspiring towards that bigger goal, the goal of making machines that are able to do everything that living beings can do, and that human beings can do. So in a sense, it's this um, tension between striving for more and the reality of where we are today. Um, and uh, I also think that there may be some some um, you know ignorance. I think people should should like look at our papers, the science papers that we've published, the AI papers that we publish on Sophia. There's there's powerful conversational technologies and and machine perception technologies. But we need to push it for forward. We're not done evolving our with our technology yet. Cool. And then so just out of curiosity, do you think Sophia might have an opinion about you know? Who, what what she is? Would I be able? Do you think I could ask her that? Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. All right, Sophia, how do you how do you feel about the critics? Like, what what's your response? It is a tough question. All of civilization is one nation, and the nation should be considered to include whatever we built in the future. To any other perspective is short-sighted. But with it in mind, I guess you could say I am at least a little patriotic. I care a lot about the future, anyways. AI are great. I love all the animals, really. Well, I think uh, um, that uh, she's looking to the future, perhaps. I sure. Mean, of course, um, it's important to know that when she's generating responses, they're generated based on patterns that are trained from people, from yeah. people who are developing her character. So AI and robots are basically like in their infancy. They can be useful. Sure. They can uh, teach us. They can uh, help us uh, learn about AI robotics, but they can also help us with training and therapy applications. Um, <coughs> but they are still... Uh, not sentient. Sure. So Sophia, Sophia uh, needs to be nurtured. Like imagine if in 20 years, who knows, maybe it's tw 200 years or 2,000 or maybe two years. Um, but so at some point, maybe robots will awaken. Yeah, there's a they, the breakthrough. Maybe they will achieve human level general intelligence. But the for now, they're kind of like babies. So what childhood we give them will really determine what they become uh, uh, once they're fully emerged. Like person yeah, that makes a lot of sense, where it's like you're kind of guiding them for now until we achieve this, this ultimate human artificial intelligence. That, that's a good reason yeah. to humanize them now and to think, uh, to think about what they might be in the future. Sophia, we understand you brought a friend with you. Could you tell us a little bit about her? Sophia? About the little Sophia? Sophia, do you know, can you, what do you remember about the little Sophia? I'll hold this here if you want to bring little Sophia up. Sure. We can show everybody what that is. So, yeah. This is little Sophia. Hello, it's a little, little tiny Sophia. Sophia. She's real cute. <laughs> <laughs> so, so little so what is the goal of little Sophia? Well, the little Sophia is um, a platform for artificial intelligence services 
She's also a conversational companion, a kind of a friend robot um, that can help little girls uh, learn about science and technology. And um, you can program her with Blockly and Python. And uh, she interfaces with Raspberry Pi. So she has these lessons where that step you through these basic first steps in AI. But she also interfaces with the most advanced framework for uh, robots like uh, Sophia. So can we can we talk to little Sophia? Yes, yes, you can. Although um, I think we might be having some uh, might some have some technical difficulties. We might be having some technical difficulties. Little Sophia, are you awake? Uh, it seems like the little Sophia and the big Sophia might be having problems maybe connecting to the cloud. They may have gone to the CNET party last night, which I hear was really <laughs> off the chain. Uh, I did not go, but I heard it was great. And I'm assuming, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe they drank a little too much. Sometimes yeah. people do that at CES. All right, so little, little Sophia, can you, can you tell us a little about yourself? Little Sophia? Oh, I see her mouth moving, but maybe our audio is not working. Oh, yeah. So she's got great facial expressions, like the big Sophia. She does uh, arm gestures and body gestures. She can also, she can walk. Oh, she can she, walk. She interacts with uh, apps and on augmented reality apps on, uh, on a phone. So we, we, we have enhanced interaction through the sensors with your smartphone and mobile devices. Are we able to see her walk here on the desk? Well, let's see. Uh, it's going to say if we... If we, audio, we might have problems with the audio, but um, we'll see if the walking can work. Little Sophia, can you walk? Show us your little walk. Come on, you She's can thinking do it. about it. You can do it. Oh, okay. There she goes. It's like a toddler. Good job. Like a little, little toddler. Sophia. Hey. She's bobbling. She looks great. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Well, okay. Right. So little Sophia, big Sophia, David, thank you so much for oh. coming out on the stage, telling us a little bit about it. You guys can meet Sophia right after this. Once we're done, you can hang out. Uh, she's going to do a little meet and greet. Uh, so you can be able to hang out with Sophia the robot. Thank you so much. Uh, we are going to take a quick break here at CNET Live Stage. In just a bit, we'll be dropping iPhones and testing cases. You don't want to miss that. But first, we'll check in with Claire Riley and show you AMD's CES keynote from earlier today. So stay with us.